dang, that was easy. Time to get to work. Yo, so when I found out about ChatGPT recently, I started messing around with it and it just blew my mind off the jump with the potential that it had. Now, if you haven't used ChatGPT yet, your mind is gonna be blown by the capabilities of this technology. And if you're a content creator like me, I suggest you get acquainted with it ASAP if you wanna supercharge how you approach your creative process. If you're wondering what ChatGPT is, GPT, short for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, is a type of artificial intelligence that is able to generate human-like text. So imagine a chatbot that you can ask almost anything, and it'll use millions of data sets from all over the internet to come up with answers to your questions. So how do you use this for your Instagram page? It's probably what you're wondering. The possibilities are endless, but here are my four favorite ways to use this to pump up your content creation today. The first way I like to use this app is in generating video ideas. To get started, let's jump into our computer and uh, open up the website. All right, we'll wanna go to chat.openai.com, boom. You wanna sign up for an account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in, but you'll just wanna sign up. All right, so once you get that loaded, here's the screen you're gonna start at. Now, since I like to batch my content out for the week, I like to use this phrase. Create a content calendar for a... You just insert your Instagram niche here. Mine is video production, so video production page or themed Instagram account with a week's worth of content. Like just looking at these, I already see several that I would potentially use. Now, they're kind of general, right? I, I gave it a pretty general question and you might run into this using ChatGPT. The answers are a lot of high level. What you have to do then is ask clarifying questions to dive in deeper and to get more out of those answers. So let's try this now. Hey, I like the calendar. I like the content calendar you gave me. What are some funny versions of the calendar? So as you can see, you know, some of these might be off the mark, but some of it is actually really some content that I would consider using that I'm gonna add to my content calendar for next week. So just like that, let's go on to the next section. Next is in finding hashtags. Before I go into this though, if you're finding this information useful and you like this video, it'd mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification because this year I'm giving YouTube everything I got and I would love to have you with me on this journey. So thanks a lot. All right, back to the robots taking over. Here's an easy prompt to use when you need to come up with hashtags. Please give me 30 hashtags to go along with an Instagram post about, I'm gonna say video lighting, but just insert whatever you want to have your post about. <laughs> That's wild, but it says, please note that some of the hashtags may be very popular and some may be not. I was actually going to tell y'all that, but ChatGPT knows exactly what I'm gonna say before I even say it, so I don't even need to say it. Wow. If you know you want other hashtags outside of those, you could literally just be like, hey, I like, hey, I like those hashtags, but can you give me 30 more? Yeah, boom, and it just does your bidding, whatever you want it to do. Cool, 
I'm gonna stop that for now, cause you get the point. One thing I will have to say is the data that ChatGPT pulls from only goes to early 2022. So if you're working on something that's trends based, ChatGPT currently is not the best option because the data only goes back to early 2022. So keep that in mind. The next tip for ChatGPT is coming up with carousels. In this modern age of Instagram, if reels are king, then carousels are queen. And since ChatGPT's strength lies in its writing capabilities, it makes a ton of sense to leverage it to generate the copy for your carousels. Now, carousels can be up to 10 slides and are often used to educate on subject matters. So try a prompt similar to this to get started. I am making a carousel post on Instagram and I need a short essay about, let's do video lighting again. Video lighting broken into five to 10 slides. And let's see what it gives us. And it remembered I was asking about hashtags before, so now it's providing us hashtags for this. ChatGPT be on it. Now, I wouldn't use all of these and I wouldn't use these word for word, but it gives me a really dope starting place to add my own voice, add my own tone, to make it personal for me and my brand. All you gotta do is take these, rewrite them a little bit, throw them into Canva, and you got some dope carousel content that's very shareable and ready to post. Now my fourth and final tip is creating captions. Captions may not be as useful anymore in this Instagram Reels era, but you still need them. So why not use ChatGPT to give you some quick ideas when you're stuck coming up with something to say, right? So let's try this prompt. I'm making an Instagram post about video lighting. Please give me five single sentence caption ideas. Where there's light, there's life. <laughs> yeah, honestly, these are pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, but I like to have my post a little more moody you know, a little mysterious. Let's uh, let's have him rewrite that in a different voice. All right, can you rewrite these captions in a mysterious voice? Yeah. I mean, some of these are cool. One of them I like a lot, but the other one's a uh, I. But I mean, you could literally just keep coming up with different ideas, different tones, and just ask it what you want it to do. And play around with it and really come up with your own custom AI-generated captions. And that's it for today, y'all. I hope you enjoy the tips and your mind is blown like mine was when it comes to the possibilities of using ChatGPT to create content on Instagram. I have to mention though, while it's not technically plagiarism to use the results it gives you, it's really up to you to use this as building blocks for creating content that fits your voice. So have fun and be creative with it. Once again, my name is Tech Boogie and I post videos every week with tips and tools to help creators make their dopest content. So if you have any questions questions or suggestions, leave a comment below and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tech Boogie. I appreciate y'all. And if you want to keep the positive vibes going, check out this next video. Peace.